So today we're going to try to do some video editing on a Retina MacBook. So I've made a bunch of videos on this little guy in the past couple of weeks. And I have to say, I really truly do love this device. I have no intention of selling it. I absolutely love this thing. I use it all the time. Now obviously its intended use is for lighter tasks. So productivity stuff like word processing, internet browsing, all that sort of thing. So we've already pushed it just a little bit with some gaming. It performed about how you would expect. But today what we're going to try is some video editing and I have to say I'm very curious as to how this will do because on paper you would think there's no way. This has a Core M, it's fanless, it's 1.3 gigahertz. This is a very low power 5 watt processor. I do think that this computer could stand a chance and the reason that I think that is because uh, this processor, as low powered as it is, is not really the worst thing in the world. I compared it with uh, Geekbench and Cinebench scores, and it's similar in many ways to the mid-2012 uh, Unibody 13-inch MacBook Pro with the Core i5. That's a very popular laptop, a lot of people use it, and finding out that the processor in this MacBook is similar means that I think we could just stand a chance of doing some video editing. Although it will be interesting to see if we can keep the temperatures under control. So everything about this video is going to be done on the MacBook. So as you can see here, I'll show you. Ah. Oh, detach that. I've got the MacBook set up here. I've got my little adapter and I've got my microphone plugged into it. So it really is every single aspect of this video being filmed. Ah. Oh on the MacBook, which is cool. So this entire video that you're watching is edited on this MacBook. So it's either good or bad. I'm not sure yet because, you know, I'm still, I'm filming it now. Although while well, you're watching it and now I've edited it, but right now, like here now, I'm... All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go to some live commentary of future me when I'm editing uh, the, uh, when I'm editing this video. Oh god, I really I really hope that I don't cut myself off in the middle of this set. So video editing on the MacBook so far has actually been pretty decent. I've been pretty pleasantly surprised. I did have some issues when doing stuff like over here I've got some slow motion. Um, it's taking quite a while to render. As you can see we've still got these little gray dots mean that we're still rendering. So it does take a little while to render. And in doing so, let's see, we should be able to see some dropped frames. Um, the player has been running fairly smoothly, but it is dropping some frames in playback. Yeah, as you can see, there's it's almost like lag spikes. And it kind of goes in and out depending on how much of that part of the video is rendered. But to be perfectly honest, um, it's really not bad. It's, it's really not. So there you have it. Video editing on the 2015 MacBook is totally doable. So it's not ideal. I did notice quite a few drops in frames during video playback. Um, that's an issue that I personally chalk up to, you know, having to wait for rendering, um, which is really the biggest holdup for this computer. There was, there were no issues for me with you know, moving things around in the timeline itself. Uh, the only issues that I found were really with playback. As far as temperatures, um, I didn't edit for too, too long, maybe about 25 minutes. Um, and obviously, the laptop did get warm, as you would expect. Uh, but it really wasn't all that bad. And I'd also like to put in the caveat that my air conditioning is broken, so it's really, really hot in my room, just as it is. So that probably didn't help, especially with a fanless design. You know, I found that all of my computer technology stuff has been overheating today because it's just so hot in this room. So I do think part of the heat was due to that. Um, obviously, if you were doing long periods of time, the processor would probably start to throttle. But for short videos like the ones that I film that aren't terribly complicated, um, I thought it was perfectly fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do have a MacBook, don't be afraid of video editing. It's certainly possible. Make sure you leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and feel free to join my subreddit if you're interested in 
I don't know, enjoining, enjoining my subreddit. It's a stupid sentence. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.